What's up Scrappy peeps? It's Del from Mickey Quill and today I'm doing a bit of a stash dive and pulling out an older collection. I'm using the U Rock collection from Coco Vanilla Studios and the reason why I love it so much, I only just got it even though it's a bit older, the reason why I love it is because it's a boy collection with no green, no orange and minimal yellow and so it's the type of collection that's right up my alley. Now I am fighting with my ATG because it is uh inserted the tapes inserted wrong which I do fix later on in the video but the the photo that I'm scrapping today I just love it so Aaron and I were well Aaron was doing some weeding outside one day and I was looking after Archie outside and Archie was having a ball but the boys were tired and so we came inside Aaron changed Archie on the bed and then next minute I go in and they're both fast asleep in like the exact same position. So of course the scrapper in me took 50,000 photos of this cute moment, picked my favourite one and I have to make a layout of it. So the first thing I'm doing is I wanted, I usually mat my photos first up with a pale colour. I just like the way it looks, especially if the photo's a bit darker like this one, you've got all of the grey um, of our blanket on our bed. I just feel like the a paler uh, border that's even all the way around just kind of makes the photo pop a little bit and then you can de delve in with the darker colors for the other paper layers. I'm using the cut apart sheet and of course I had to use the Hello Mr. Rad. Um, if you don't know Aaron and I and Archie I guess um, have a daily vlog channel where we post vlogs Monday to Friday when we have internet and all things are good in life. Over Christmas we had a bit of a break of course um, but it's called Mr. and Mrs. Rad and so anytime I see something with Rad I just have to use it um, and so I'm just I decided to go with kind of the darker blues and I've been really enjoying having a torn piece at the bottom of my photo I know that there's a lot of people that don't like the torn look in um, scrapbooking and that's a-okay because we all like our different things um, but I've just like it not on every layer but just on like a couple of layers. So next up I'm I often like to offset so I usually do like one or two or three layers that are quite symmetrical and then I like to offset and choose one of the sides to uh, kind of overbalance my paper layers. So I decided to go for the right and the reason why I did that is because their heads were resting on that side. Here I am fighting with the ATG. Um, their heads were on that right hand side and I just thought it was a bit, it kind of looked like they were resting on a pillow. And so I added the um, kind of plus sign cross, whatever you would like to interpret that shape as, uh, as well as some of this, I'm a sucker for handwriting paper. It's the teacher within me. Hand me a piece of scrapbook paper that looks either like wood or text or handwriting paper and I'm, I'm there, I'm done. Even, I think I would even like handwriting paper if it was green. Maybe not lime green, but a darker green. I, I could do that. So then I decided to fill in those little gaps with a doily and I had to go on a bit of a mission because I have this little pouch, if you've watched my uh, craft room tours you would have seen it before. I have this little plastic pouch where I keep all different doilies inside. I get a lot of questions about these doilies there from Amazon. They're in a thousand pack, you have to buy a thousand, uh, which is a lot of doilies. One person does not need that many. Um, and they're the six inch and it's called the Cambridge pattern. But I lost, I have lost my doilies. I don't know where they are. So what I did, I know this is Murphy's Law and I'm now going to find it, but I've created a new doily stash and I've gone to my, I call them my master packets, which is where I have a box that has all of my master supplies so for example my extra tape and my um the blades for my trimmer and things that i have multiples of that i only kind of need to use one at a time and i've remade my doily stash and i guarantee i'm going to find it today so then i'll have two doily stashes to choose from and to lose next up i'm doing this little boys will be boys cut apart and i wanted to make it into a bit more of an embellishment. I, I'm not a huge fan, just personally with my own pages, of really flat um, things. 
I don't know why, I just, I like to add a bit of fancy bit of texture to them. So by adding two layers of tissue paper, I was just able to give that little piece just a bit more uh, presence on the page. I know that sounds silly, but it just kind of looks a bit more like it's meant to be there and not just like it's plonked on with no purpose and it's going to slip off the page any second. I do, however, do that exact thing and contradict everything I just said in the top right hand corner with the Hello Mr. Rad. And the reason why I did that is because I felt like it was a bit more textury. Because it is a wood grain, it already has kind of a built in texture to it that is fake. I know it's silly, it doesn't make sense, but it does in my brain and it worked on this page. Next up, I added that little black and white close up photo of Archie and I'm doing a bit of a doodly border around it to give it a bit of interest but I didn't feel like I needed any more paper layers because I'd kind of used all of the uh, paper colors that I'd wanted to I didn't really want to make any more busyness so a doodly border was enough to make it look like it had a layer gave it a bit of extra something but it didn't overpower the rest of the page so then I was looking to see where to put my journaling and I, this is a bit of a different composition for me in that it's quite top heavy. Uh, usually when I do my pages they're more bottom, like the, the bottom two thirds of the page rather than the top two thirds of the page. So it did kind of throw me out of a loop but this year I'm trying new things and I'm kind of re not going out of my comfort zone because there's not much out of my comfort zone here but just trying new things that maybe I did before and I've forgotten about. Um, when I flip through, I do monthly flip throughs over on Patreon of my albums and I was going through and I just kind of got inspired to try a top heavy um, layout just, just to give it a bit of a go. So I added my journaling there using my Stadler Pigment Liner 0.3 because someone asks every time. <laughs> um, it's just, I just kind of like black felt tip pens. I'm pretty I'm not very fussy when it comes to pens. I'm more fussy when it comes to embellishments, I think. Let me know in the comments below, what are you particular about with your scrapbooking supplies? Do you have to have, like, a are you fussy with your papers? Like, do they have to be particular brands? Or are you fussy with your, maybe your alphabets? They have to be the thickest brand. You don't like other brands. What are you fussy about? I'm, I would say embellishments is where I, I like to... I go with what I know I'm going to love and get the most use out of. Um, whereas pens, as long as it's like thin and black and can write, um, it's it's all good for me. I guess, I think paints, I might be a bit fussy too. I do like the Dilutions paints, but then again, I could, I could make any paint work. It's just that I favor those ones. Anywho, tangent. I decide to, I'm on a mission to use up some of my stash because I think I need a bit of a, a bit of a clean out in that I need to finish some half used sheets. That's that's a little challenge that I've got for you guys today. So by the end of January, see if you can finish up three sheets of something, either um, alphabets you could use. I've got two videos from I think a couple of years ago when where I show different ways to use up thickers. If you just search Inky Quill thickers, um, it'll come up. But um, try and use up three packets of something. I'm determined to finish a pack of alphabets, a pack of like chipboard or puffy stickers or something, and a pack of flat stickers. So we'll see how I go by the end of Jan. My camera did cut off then and all I did was I cut out that little camera from the stick sheet and stuck it on some craft foam to a little punched out heart just to make my own little embellishment just to put on there because I, I felt like it it didn't need, it needed kind of something that was a bit curved because the layout is so grid-like and there's lots of squares and angles and triangles, not triangles, what Adele, do you know your shapes? Squares and angles and rectangles. Um, I felt like it needed just something curved just to contrast it a bit and by only having one curved embellishment on there, it kind of draws your eye to it and um, I also like the curved font, I guess that you could you could call that a curved font. Now here I did something wrong. I there's no wrong in scrapbooking, but I did something that's probably not 
going to work as well. I left too much of a gap on that right hand side and I knew that it was going to drive me crazy when I did that dashed line. And so I did cut a little bit of the side off. It's time for the hearty shine. Check, 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 check your hearty shine. Sing it with me. Check your hearty shine. God, I feel like an idiot doing these voiceovers, just talking to myself and singing my, my own little songs, singing a little ditty. Um, but adding a bit of Heidi Shine to those empty kind of spaces, but also leaving, leaving some of the spaces white. And I know that I'm full of contradictions in this video, but I think I like to fill in some of the spaces with the Heidi Shine and leave some of the bigger ones white. And I think by doing that, it does give a bit of a balance. And you can see I've kind of magnetized the Heidi Shine to the, the layout part. So up in that left hand corner there is a big white spot but instead of putting the Heidi Shine up the top there I've done it towards the journaling and down the bottom next to the boys will be boys it kind of is tucked in connected to the the rest of the layout rather than just floating in thin air so this layout's done it was a different one for me I really did enjoy it and it's nice to get some of my older stash kind of used up sorry about the brightness there it gets fixed in a moment there we go um, don't forget to subscribe if you're new. I do two videos a week, my Wednesday and Saturday mornings at 7 a.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. And I also have a second channel, Let's Get Inky, if you're interested. See you next time, guys. Bye!